Hello my YouTube friends, Streamlabs has some really powerful text tools, but I don't see a lot of people taking advantage of them. Today I want to walk you through all the awesome stuff that you can do with the text tools in Streamlabs OBS. So let's get to it! <laughs> My goal on this channel is to make people better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So please take a second and leave me a comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're down there, take a second and leave me a thumbs up. This really does help YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do and click that bell. This goes a long way towards continuing to help me create content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel. Things like art and live streaming and video assets. You can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, and text fonts. The process is super easy and you can even incorporate your own logo or if you're like me, your own Placid Design logo. You can put it right in your design. This gives you an infinite number of overlays and face cam possibilities for your live streams. And they're so easy to create, you can use a different one every time you live stream if you wanted to. So please, click the link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. Nothing left to do but to show you how to use these awesome text tools. So into Streamlabs OBS we go. In Streamlabs, we're just gonna start with an empty scene and we're gonna click the plus under sources and we're gonna go to this text GDI plus. We'll name this text BRB and we're gonna add the source. Now right here, you can drop this down and there are hundreds of fonts, including anything that you may have loaded on your machine personally will all be in here. Really the selection for fonts is ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and select impact and we'll drop this down and if it has different versions of that font, you can select it right there. We can adjust the font size and right here in text, we're just gonna type in the text that we want shown on the screen. Be right back. And we can use this to set it to all uppercase, all lowercase, or capitalizing the first letter. We can also change it to vertical with this little button right here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adjust the color. So we'll click this right here. We're gonna make this text blue. And then you just click in the top right hand corner, that little box to close these out. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the gradient button and we're gonna select a second color for our text and our second color is going to be yellow. So there we go. Now we can see we have a gradient from blue to yellow and we can adjust the gradient opacity to make the yellow lighter or darker. We can also adjust the gradient direction. So that's going to show it's going to go from blue to yellow in different angles that we can choose just by moving this slider right here. And I'm going to make the blue a little bit darker. And if you disable anti-aliasing, you can see it gets a little bit more blocky and and we can adjust the font size right up here once we have some text in there. And we'll make it as big as possible. And I'm gonna try to make that blue a little bit darker even more. And there we go. And I'm just gonna adjust our gradient direction once again. Try to get it from top to bottom as best I can. And usually top to bottom is right around 90. And I'm gonna adjust our gradient opacity to bring that blue out just a little bit more. You can see these are infinitely adjustable. And we can adjust a background color here. So I'm gonna set a background color to white and we can go ahead and add some background opacity. If we change that up, we can see a nice white background appears behind our text if we want it. We can set the text alignment right here and that's better for multi-line text. And of course, this one here is the vertical alignment for our text as well. I'm gonna click this outline button and I'm gonna set our outline to white. And then I'm gonna just adjust the thickness of this outline. That brings our text out a little bit better. And if I click close, there we go, we have our text. We can put it right in the center of the screen and that looks pretty good. Now you can drag it and adjust it if you want 
want, I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna add some more text. And when you have multiple texts, you can click this slider so you can add a new one instead of using one that's already there. We're gonna call this starting soon and I'm gonna scroll down and select the same font we used before. And we'll adjust the size up and we'll put our text in here, just starting. And we're gonna have a new line for soon. And I'm gonna go ahead and set our text transform to uppercase so all of our letters are uppercase. You can set multiple line text to vertical as well. That looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and center it. So now you can see that the lower line is centered, which is good. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust our colors. And I'm gonna select that blue color. I'm gonna go ahead and select the gradient. And you're gonna see the gradient works a little bit different on text that's multiple lines. I'm gonna select that yellow color once again. And now you can see that the gradient spreads across both of the lines of text. So it doesn't work the same. If you wanted to have the same kind of gradient that you get on one line of text, you kind of have to make each line separate. So just keep that in mind. We can also adjust the gradient direction and all that sort of stuff on here, just like on the other one. And we can set our white outline. And there we go, looking good. And we can just adjust the size of this easily by stretching out these corners on the box and we'll put it right there and now I want to show you how to set up this scroll bar so we're gonna click the plus I'm gonna to go to text GDI and we're gonna click this bar down here to add a new text we'll call this one scroll and we're gonna go ahead and add the source and you can see here if you wanted to use Google fonts you can add hundreds more fonts to your selection right here this goes right out to Google and you can select any font from there pretty epic I'm gonna go ahead and just put some text in here and for text that you're going to have scrolling obviously this is going to be for a longer line of text anything that you want separated you want to put a couple of spaces in between so that there is some differentiation and then at the end of a scrolling text line you want to make sure that you add spaces at the end as well now you can actually read this from a file so if you have something writing to a file to add names in it for your membership or something like that it will automatically update if that file updates and then of course the visuals of it work exactly the same as what we've seen in the past we can change it to blue we can add our yellow gradient all of the text tools work very similarly but they're just so powerful Powerful. And we can add an outline and adjust the size of that outline up. And once we have the text looking the way we want, all we have to do is go ahead and right click and go to filters and add a filter. And we're going to click this plus because the visual properties really just change kind of the visuals of it. But this plus gives us access to a whole bunch of other filters. We're going to go to the scroll filter and click done. And then you can adjust the horizontal speed right here. You can actually adjust the vertical speed too and it will just scroll from top to bottom if you like. Once you have the speed set the way you want, you just drag your scroll bar anywhere you want it and you can adjust the size of your text. Now I'm going to adjust it up a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key. I'm going to crop in the right edge of this box since we don't need it hanging all the way out there and the text will just scroll through this box just like you see it. Pretty damn epic, huh? If you want to see more about setting up Streamlabs OBS, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.